What's up everybody, I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services and in this video I'm going to show you a very homeowner friendly way to tell if your furnace is heating the way that it should. It's called temperature rise. Don't worry, I'll explain what it is and why you even want to know it, but first don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's go change and get this done. Come on. Now before we get started, I'm curious, how many of you already know what temperature rise is or you've heard the term? Let me know down in the comments. Or if you're a technician watching this and you call it something different, let me know that as well. Now most of us have probably wondered at some point or another, is our furnace heating the way that it should? Especially as your furnace gets older, you might wonder that. A quick way to tell is to measure how warm the air is going out to the house versus how warm the air is coming back to the system. This difference in temperature is what you call temperature rise. If it's not within a range that the manufacturers say that it should be, you can assume that something's not working right. The good news is the only tool you're going to need is a probe style thermometer. Now, if you have your furnace serviced once a year, the HVAC technician that comes out should check the temperature rise and let you know if anything is out of whack. But knowing how to check this yourself is a great thing for any homeowner to know. The temperature rise is going to be a little bit different depending on the size and the brand of your furnace. They've engineered things and know what it should be. The first thing you want to do is look for the nameplate on the furnace. It'll look something like this, and it's usually located on the inside of the furnace cabinet, meaning you're going to have to take the doors off in order to get to it. It'll have the model and serial number and a bunch of other technical information, including the temperature rise. It should be written as a range, like mine is a range between 20 and 50 degrees. What's listed on your nameplate may be a little different. You just need to find what the range is so that you can refer back to it once we calculate what the temperature rise is. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually make sure that your furnace has been running for about 10 or 15 minutes so that it has a chance to normalize or, or come up to temperature. So if your furnace isn't running right now, go to the thermostat, uh, adjust the temperature up high enough so that the furnace comes on and let it run for a little while. If it's winter time, 10 minutes is probably fine because it should have already been heating your house. Now, while the furnace is heating up, we need to identify the difference between the return air and the supply air. If your air filter is down at the furnace, Furnace, if you pull the air filter out and look for this little direction arrow, that'll tell you which direction the air is flowing. Since the filter comes before the furnace, the air moving across the filter is actually returning from being circulated through the house. This will be the return air. Past the filter or in the direction of the airflow arrow, that should be the furnace. And if you follow the furnace, whatever way it's oriented, in my case, it's up. If you follow the furnace up past the heat exchanger, that's gonna be the air supplied to the house, so that's the supply side. Once you've identified the return and the supply, you're ready to measure the temperature. You're gonna need an access hole just bigger than the probe of the thermometer. You can make that with a sheet metal screw or a small drill bit. If you've ever had your system serviced before, chances are the technician that came out already made access holes. Insert the thermometer into the return air and wait for the temperature to stop moving and then record what that temperature is. Now on the supply side, where you insert your thermometer is gonna be different depending on whether you've got an air conditioner or not attached to your furnace. I have an air conditioner and a lot of you do. Uh, if you notice these copper lines right here, these are the refrigerant lines going to the evaporator coil that sits behind this cabinet. Your heat exchanger is gonna be right behind the burner, so right below this. In this situation, I don't wanna go sticking things into where the, uh, the evaporator coil is, so I'm gonna come right past the evaporator coil. This right here is the supply side, so I'm gonna insert my thermometer into this ductwork. Now, if you didn't have an air conditioner, you wouldn't have these copper lines, and right past the um, heat exchanger is probably gonna be more metal ductwork like this, and you could just come about 24 inches past the heat exchanger and insert your thermometer there. Once you know where you're gonna insert your thermometer, go ahead and insert the thermometer into the supply side and wait for the temperature to stop moving. Then go ahead and record that temperature somewhere. Now take the supply temperature and subtract the return temperature. The number that you get will be the temperature rise. Now take that temperature and refer back to the range that we found on the nameplate. If it's within range, your furnace is probably heating the way it was designed to. Now, if your temperature rise is out of range, the most common cause is restricted airflow. It could be a dirty filter, 
a dirty evaporator coil, or too many vents around the house closed or blocked off. You may even have a motor that's starting to go bad. Now, if your temperature range is off, about the only thing that the average homeowner can do is go make sure you've got a clean air filter and make sure the vents around the house are opened up. If you do this and you're still getting um, a reading that's out of range, you're probably gonna wanna have a technician come out and diagnose your system before you end up with a bigger issue. Also, if your temperature rise is good, meaning it's within range, but you're still having comfort issues around the house, it's possible that your system just wasn't designed properly for your house before it was installed. There are ways to fix that, but that's a conversation for another video. As we already saw, my temperature rise is well within range. I'm good to go. I hope this is something that you feel comfortable doing yourself, but if it's not, that's okay. Like I mentioned before, if you're having your furnace serviced once a year, the technician should do this as part of the service, and you can actually ask them, what was the temperature rise on my furnace? They'll probably be impressed you even know what temperature rise is. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when we release new videos. Until next time, good luck with your next project. See ya.